how to use Evernote for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Evernote. Evernote is an amazing note-taking app that can help you in tackling any type of project with your notes, tasks, and scheduling everything all in one place. Everdoc can function as a place where you keep your documents, plan your day, do your research, write your class notes, journal, write your thoughts, build task lists, build meeting notes, and so much more. So let's get started with Evernote. To get started, simply click on start for free on the top right, and you can sign up with Google, Apple, or your email address. I am going to sign in with Google just so I can speed up this process for you guys. And once we do that, we're going to click on go to Evernote over here to open up the Evernote web application. Now, Evernote is also available on the desktop version where you have a application downloaded. So you can download that application if you want to use Evernote even when you are offline. I do recommend that if you're using it as an all-in-one tool that you do go for the application instead of just using the web client. However, the web client also does a great job. So I'm going to proceed with Evernote over here. And you guys can see this is my Evernote account. So on the top left, you're going to have your account info. Then you have a settings tab, notifications, and then your help center. In your Evernote account, you have all of the information regarding your Evernote account. So you have 250 MBs of storage for your notes and your documents. And over here, you also will see a tab that allows you to edit, you know, the application settings, your daily notes, sidebars, and other preferences. Now in your settings tab, you can choose the system settings for your day or night mode. You can choose a daily note to automatically create a note each day to jot down your ideas and keep track of to-dos. And you also have a calendar, so pre-format notes I create from events. Then you can also add a sidebar. You can customize options in your sidebars. Then you have notes, so if you want to add a body or a title for every note that you start writing and then if you want to strike through completed checklist items then you also have evernote links which allow you to add them as either text titles or previews then below that you have pdfs spreadsheets google drive links and youtube links and you can choose how you want to preview everything so if i want pdfs let's say i only want title pages for pdfs then by default, you will have your first notebook created and then you can customize tasks as well. You can change your import settings and you can import your notes from Apple Notes, OneNote, Word, Google Docs, or Notion. And then you can go into devices over here and then connect devices together so all of your notes are synced up on Evernote. Now let's get started with the actual note taking element of Evernote. So. To get started with this, on the left, we will have a home panel. Then after that, you will see on the top right, you have options to attach files, images, audios, and sketches, and write notes. Whenever you're writing notes, they're going to be put in a notebook, and by default, you will have a, a first notebook created. Now, I am going to go into our first notebook, and I'm going to click on New Notebook over here. And this is going to be my new notebook, which I am going to name lilies and then i'm going to remove the notes that i've previously written and then we're going to go into our new notebook and then i can click on new note over here click on continue and start writing my notes so i can get started by typing out my note for example i have to build a grocery or let's say i have a birthday coming up for someone so birthday ideas or a and then i can start writing and i can drag files i can start from a template i have multiple different templates like lecture notes essays and we can add different types of files we have project plans meeting notes everything can be created within this note let's say that for me i want to maybe write just you know idea so i just want to add some bullet points i can do slash over here and I can link this to a calendar event. Let's say that the birthday is in two days and I want to add the birthday for, you know, the early PM. So add lunchtime like this. 
and there is no event that we have created we're gonna have to create an event over there as well so you guys can see this is our calendar and the calendar does not have an event so we're gonna have to create that later but now i can proceed with a task list or let's say i have to buy a cake and then i have to buy b-day decor and i have to you know anything else i have to do i can add that i can add the due date for every task that is happening like this and i can also assign myself or other people if there are multiple people in your notes you can add reminders for this as well for a certain time and you can make it recurring and even add the very specific time i'm going to go into the calendar go into the date and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on new event and i'm going to write a's b day over here and then i'm just going to create an event for that day now if i go back into my tasks or notes you will see that my tasks that were listed within the notes have been imported in the tasks tab as well which is one feature that i love about evernote is that everything is interlinked so all the notes that i'm writing all of the tasks that i add are added by default into the tasks tab so i don't lose track of anything that i meant to do now going back into notes over here you guys can type out you know let's say we have to buy a cake we have to buy birthday decor and i'm going to add a large header over here which is going to be uh, game ideas and then i can jolt down you know game ideas whatever whatever ideas i have so if I, if we want to do if we want to do poker if we want to do charades like this we can add that and we, we can make this a list and we can make this a checkbox so if we've played these or not and so on and so forth you even have ai writers on evernote to help you in actualizing or materializing your notes once you've completed everything you can proceed on and go into your tasks tab to see any of the tasks that are due the best part about all of this is you have your tasks aligned in a way where you're able to see the most recent task the upcoming task that is the nearest to your current due date is going to be listed on top which helps you in making sure everything remains organized you even have a files tab to attach files over here you can click on the files over here and add any type of file whether it's a document whether it's for your research whether you're writing assignments all of it can be done over here now another really a great thing about evernote is that you can set one notebook as your default notebook and that can just serve as your daily planner and then you can create other notebooks for specific purposes that are specialized you can create a singular notebook that manages your day-to-day -day, and let's say you're working on a side hustle and you can build a separate notebook for that completely and you can also add and share other people and you will also have a shared with me tab which will allow you to see other things people have shared you can also create tags to further categorize all types of tasks that you are creating i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe